Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another episode of Left 4 Dead 2 Myth Busting Mondays. And in today's video for the final myth, we're testing to see if whether or not that you can die within a campaign intro. Literally seconds upon starting a game, can you actually be pronounced as dead? So that's what we're going to be testing here at the end of the video. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and if there is a myth of your very own that you would like to have us test in next week's episode, please leave it here in the comments down below. Or also, alternatively, you can leave them within my Discord server, which is going to be linked down below in this video's description. With all that being said, though, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another episode of Left 4 Dead 2 Myth Busting Mondays. Myth. Can propane tanks, gas cans, or oxygen tanks survive the gas station in explosion. Alrighty guys, myth number one is submitted on Mike Labursko. So I'm going to be going here to the No Mercy gas station. I'm going to spawn in one of everything that Labursko listed, and let's see if whether or not any of the three things survive the carnage. Alright, so there is the propane tanks and the gas cans, and now here is the oxygen tanks. All right, let's light this candle. Here we go. The gas station is exploding, and this one's not going to need too much thought into it. You guys can see that nothing was left. The gasoline cans, the oxygen tanks, and the propane tanks, none of them survived, which means that the myth is busted. Nothing is going to survive the No Mercy gas station. Myth. Will tank prioritize a player using a chainsaw over a player using a minigun? Alrighty guys, the second myth is submitted in by Dan, and I am curious to see what's going to happen here, because for the last two episodes we've been messing with the tank's AI, seeing what type of players he prefers to attack. We've tested it with the minigun, then we tested it out with a chainsaw, so what if we end up putting both head to head and see what he favors over these two? So I'm going to be on the minigun, while Dan's going to be holding a chainsaw, we're going to spawn in a tank, and we're just going to see who he ends up picking. So, so far he is indeed going for me, but Dan is right behind him. So as you guys can see, I end up getting flung across the map, and then I do end up trying to go right back to the minigun, but as soon as I hop on the minigun, he ignores Dan and then just goes for me a second time. He's coming up the ladder now, and he's about to hit me a second time, and then so I'm going to try one more time to go back up to the minigun, just to make sure that this is not indeed a fluke. I mean, hell, even on this last attempt, Dan was actually hitting the tank with the chainsaw for a good few seconds, and he still decided to hit me. The tank literally was ignoring his own safety just to kill me. So I think that that clearly means the second myth is going to be busted. He does not prefer the chainsaw, he actually prefers to go for a player with a minigun. Which is smart, because technically the minigun has got the ability to hit you at a distance, whereas the chainsaw you gotta be up close and personal. Myth. If you spawn a Bride Witch on any survival map and anger her, will the timer start? I apologize in advance if I butcher your name, but I believe your name's pronounced Hashad. If it's not quite that, please feel free to correct me in the comments, but your myth does seem pretty cool, Hashad. So let's see what happens. Dan is going to end up angering the Witch, and we're going to see if whether or not it affects the timer. So here we go, Dan pisses her off, and yeah, sure enough, it does indeed affect the survival timer. Now this is weird to me because I don't know why the witch is for some reason able to do this, even though we're not interacting with the radio at all. Either way, it still ends up meaning that the myth is confirmed if you do piss off a bride witch, or I'd like to believe it would be just any witch for that matter, that you will somehow activate the survival timer. Pretty weird, but it's interesting still nonetheless. Myth. Can you destroy the warehouse door in No Mercy by using explosives? Alrighty guys, myth number four is submitted in my tacky rove later. So I'm not exactly like Dan, where I am the master of explosives, but I will definitely try my hardest to. So I'm going to give myself everything under the sun that has something to relate to an explosive, and I'm going to use it. So let's try the grenade launcher first. I'm going to spam the door a couple of times by spraying it with unlimited ammo, and then let's take a look at the door. So after spamming the door for a moment with the grenade launcher, it doesn't seem to be affected by it at all. Next I'm going to be testing out propane with the grenade launcher as well. And when I end up looking at it now, it's the exact same thing, pretty much nothing changed. Next up is oxygen tanks, and it does take a minute for some of them to set off, but just like the propane tanks, nothing happened. I even tried fireworks from Dark Carnival to see if that would make a difference, but this didn't do anything either. And then by process of elimination, the only thing I had left to try was the pipe bomb, but even that was not strong enough to open up the door, whether it be by itself or combined it with anything. So this means that myth number four is busted. You cannot open up this warehouse door, no matter how hard you try with any kind of explosive, which is too bad because it'd be really nice if you could. 
Alrighty guys, and now it is time for the final myth of the episode, and once again it is going to be, can you die during a campaign intro? Literally seconds upon the game starting. So you guys know the drill by now, let's load up into the final myth and see what the result is. Myth, can you die during a campaign intro? Alrighty guys, and the last myth is submitted in by Naren. So dying during a campaign intro, well we have seen weirder on this channel, so let's see what we can do. The first thing we're going to try to do is use the kill command within the console. So let's end up doing that. But upon doing so, all it does is put us into black and white, which technically does not count. This is just one step short of death, we will have to try again. Now for attempt number two, we decided to end up using a special infected, and we literally were able to spawn them during the cutscene. And it does even end up causing this to happen, where they just kind of attack us in the middle of us getting off of Virgil's boat but nobody ended up falling off of the dock like I hoped that they would. They all kind of just got stuck on Nick. All right, so we remove Nick, hopefully the third time is the charm, and as you guys can see, Rochelle comedically gets dragged off screen like that old cane on the neck bit. And yeah, Glabersco is dead. He got attacked and killed during the intro cutscene, which means that the last myth, as crazy as it seems, is confirmed. You literally can die in the middle of a campaign intro. Which means that no matter what, you are never safe within the Left 4 Dead zombie apocalypse. Alrighty guys, but that has been it here for today's video, and I do truly hope you guys ended up enjoying it. If you did, please consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all that beautiful stuff. As we also wrap up the video, by the way guys, I want to mention just really quickly before you take off, that I've recently made a second YouTube channel. I made this for you guys for 7,000 subscribers. The channel is called Black Ninja 797 Extras. The purpose of this channel was to create and make extra content that you would normally not see on my main channel, and also give the opportunity for some old series of mine to make a comeback. So currently on the channel right now, I've got my Half-Life walkthrough, I've got the Return of Challenge Accepted where you can request games for me to play, I've also got plenty of funny moments with me and my friends. One of the things I want to do up and coming here very soon for that channel is upload a vlog from when I was in California this last summer, and then also a Q&A video, which by the way, if you guys have any questions for me that you would like to have be a part of that said Q&A video, Please leave any question of any kind here in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer as many as I possibly can. I really hope you guys look forward to this channel. If you guys like seeing other content that I make outside of my normal Left 4 Dead COD videos, I recommend subscribing. Please definitely do so. I will have a link for it down below in this video's description. With all that being said though, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTubers are ever going to see. Thanks for watching, guys. I love all of you, and peace out. Hey meme lords, Jesus here, and you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too, or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too, and give me the memes! Flash! Bang! Boom!